everybody. Welcome back to another story time from the Twinsburg Public Library. This week's story time is all about birthdays. Everybody's got a birthday. When's your birthday? That's great. I bet you can't wait. Birthdays can be so much fun. But before story time gets started, we have to say hello to each other. Let's say hello as quiet as we can. Ready? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as quiet as we can. Hello. Hello, everybody. That was so quiet. I love it. Now, who remembers what the opposite of quiet is? That's right, it's loud. Let's say hello as loud as we can. Ready? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as loud as we can. Hello! Hello, everybody. I am so happy to see you back. Now, let's get our voices ready for story time by singing our ABCs all together. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Great job, everybody. I am so proud of the way you sang those ABCs. Now we're ready for our first story. And this one is all about a kitty cat whose birthday maybe gets a little too fun. It's called Bernice Gets Carried Away by Hannah Harrison. It was a horrible, dreary day and it suited Bernice's mood just fine. She does look very grumpy with her arms crossed and a big frown. Everyone else had gotten a frosting rose on their piece of cake, but not Bernice. All she'd gotten was a plain white square from the middle. Everyone else had gotten ice cold strawberry melon sodas, but not Bernice. All that was left for her was pruned grapefruit, and it was warm. And of course, one of the big kids had gone and smashed the pinata to smithereens before Bernice had even gotten a swing. Everyone else had gotten yummy candy and prizes, but not Bernice. She found one lousy gumdrop that somebody had stepped on. Yes, Bernice was in a bad mood. So when she saw that they were about to hand out the balloons, she didn't take any chances. What do you think she did? I think it may have been a little naughty. Mine, she said, and grabbed the whole bunch. That doesn't seem very kind. But it was one balloon too many, and up, up, and away floated Bernice. She floated up past a surly gray squirrel alongside a very blue bluebird and to the bottom of a brooding black rain cloud where she got stuck. Bernice guessed she wasn't the only one having a bad day. She peered down past her paws at the big world below and noticed how little everything looked. Suddenly, her problem seemed pretty small. Bernice glanced up at her enormous bunch of balloons and felt pretty small herself. So she gave the cloud a balloon to remind him of sunnier days. He got fluffy and stopped weeping rain. She gave the blue bird a balloon to brighten her empty nest. The bird burst into beautiful song. She gave the squirrel a balloon to soften him up. He hugged it and smiled and chattered as Bernice grief gracefully floated back down to the ground. And then, what do you think Bernice does next? <gasps> Everyone else began sharing too. Yes, it was a sparkly, sunshiny day. 
and it suited Bernice's mood just fine. And I am so glad that Bernice's party got turned around and she had a great day after all. There are just so many fun things about birthdays and celebrating birthdays. Speaking of celebrating, there are so many ways to celebrate. Maybe you can help me celebrate too by clapping and waving and stomping your feet. Let's see how many ways we can celebrate together with a fun, fun song. You ready? See. You know, it's so much fun to clap. Do you have fun clapping? I do. Let's clap. We Let's clap, clap our hands and we can. Do you think you can make yourself wait? Oh, it is so hard to stop my hands from clapping and make myself wait. Oh, wait. Stop your feet. Can you make your feet wait? Make them stop stomping? It's really hard, isn't it? How about waving hello? Hi, everybody. Welcome to story time. Having so much fun. Oh, can you make your hands wait and breathe? That's so hard, isn't it? It's really hard. Can you bounce? Can you make your whole body wait? That's so hard. That's so hard. Let's try clapping one more time. You ready? Get a real good clap going. Excuse me. Do you clap your hands? So Whew. We are so good at that. We're good at celebrating. We're good at waiting to celebrate, even though it's really, really hard. And one of the ways to celebrate a party is with presents. It's not the only way, but it's fun picking out a present for a friend who you know will love the present. And that's just what happens in The Best Birthday Present Ever by Ben Mantle. Let's see what kind of present these friends pick out for each other. Let's see. Squirrel was super excited. He'd been invited to a party, but not just any party. It was Big Bear's Birthday Bonanza. Now, he needed to find a birthday present for his best friend, Bear. Bear already had lots of bubble bath, and he definitely didn't need any slippers. He's got lots and lots of slippers. All the animals went to the toy store, but Squirrel wanted to get something different. Suddenly, he was struck by a brilliant idea. He would get Bear a... What do you think Squirrel is going to pick out for Bear? What would be a great present for your best friend? Squirrel would give Bear a stick. He scoured every tree looking for the perfect one, but they were all too heavy, too leafy, or too wriggly. Squirrel was about to give up his search when he tripped over something. <gasps> it wasn't too heavy or leafy, and it certainly wasn't alive. Bear will love it, he shouted. Squirrel rushed straight home to wrap the stick. Bear would never guess what it was now. To make it even more special, he tied a big bow around it. This was going to be the best birthday present ever. It was the day of Big Bear's birthday bonanza. Happy birthday, Bear, shouted Squirrel. I think you'll like your present. He did look a, it did look a lot smaller than the other gifts, but Squirrel wasn't worried. Everyone had so much fun at the party. They danced, played games, ate lots of cake. Soon, it was time to open presents. Bear picked up the largest present first and read the label. To Bear from Rabbit. Wow, the mellow 5000 Marshmallow Cannon, gasped Bear. Thank you, Rabbit. Bear excitedly unwrapped more presents, each one getting better and better. A turbo fishing rod, a thunder boom drum kit, an amazing pop-up castle tent. What great gifts, he squealed. 
Squirrel started to worry. Why do you think he's worried? Maybe he thinks his gift won't be as exciting? I bet Squirrel knows his friend better than that. There was just one present left to open. I hope you like it, Squirrel whispered nervously. Bear examined the gift carefully, wondering what it could be. He ripped off the paper. Oh, exclaimed Bear, staring at the stick in surprise. It's just what I've always wanted, he cried. Oh, thank you, Squirrel. Everyone wanted to take a look at the stick. It's very small, said Owl. How unusual, squeaked Mouse. But what does it do, asked Rabbit. A stick this perfect can do absolutely anything, replied Bear. And he was right. That week, Bear and Squirrel spent all of their time playing with the stick. It made an excellent marshmallow fork. They caught twice as many fish, and they made double the noise on the drums. They even flew their very own flag on their castle. But there was another game they liked to play even more. Poking things. They poked squelchy things, deep things, and floaty things. When they came across a mysterious hole, they poked it to see what was inside. What do you think was inside the hole? Walk! The stick fell to the ground with a snap. Oh, my lovely stick, cried Bear. We'll never find another one as perfect as that, sighed Squirrel. As they stared sadly at the two pieces, Bear realized something. Maybe it didn't matter that the stick was broken. Because now they had the two best birthday presents ever. And how fun a birthday present that can do anything. What a great idea Squirrel had. He really knew what his best friend would love. Well, before we say goodbye to each other, let's sing one more song. Our library doors go open and shut song. Ready? We'll sing, the library doors go open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The library doors go open and shut all day long. We check our books in and out, in and out. In and out, we check our books. In and out, all day long. Now our time is up, but we'll see you next week. See you next week. See you next week. Our time is up, but we'll see you next week at the library. Thank you so, so much, everybody, for joining us for story time today. We'll see you real soon. Bye.